I bet you don't know who this is. How could I not recognize your crummy voice? I know. So what's your latest uh, adventures, Piero? While well known among some, probably should be better known. His creative influence at the beginning of the Velvet Underground, the Andy Warhol Factory, even the poetry. Piero Hellitzer was really at the center of the lot of it. Growing up without a father probably had a bigger impact on me than I realized. I wanted to learn more about my father, and I felt the best way to do that was from those who actually knew him and appreciated his films and poetry. I think Piero felt that the sort of success he deserved was eluding him. He unfortunately had some rough years. He saw a lot of things that John should not have to see. I think art was a form of therapy for all of Piero's early traumas. He's Pete Rowlitzer. I mean, he's 52. I hear he has lost most of his teeth. He's as crazy as he always has been, but he probably even more so talk about running for mayor of New York and he's the prince of Europe and all that stuff. I got the sense that my family was protecting me from him. Why did you ever go away? I hope and I know you will be back soon.